Colbert started screaming his head off, and then was silent, the Baroness silent. And Dario launched into damage control and took over from there. Where do we stand? Sorry, where do we lay? In their favor. Go as is our enemy now. Now? Major. It's just public, that's all. Openly. <laughs> I was able to quell some of their flames after you left. Most of their anger was directed towards me. They are furious, but... You and me reminding them of who they are indebted with put them back in their place like lost dogs. Maybe the Baroness will see reason. I doubt it. That's where my hope lies. He was silent the most of the time, were. Major. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. The only hope we have now is the fact that they owe you and I a great bet, more so us, and I intend to cash in every opportunity going this point forward. Let's do on. I'm going to demand ownership of the iron mines. I'm going to work out a deal with Marco Morgul. He will have the sole exports of it. We will be able to take what we want from it whenever we desire. It will also be under our protection, so we'll not have to worry about its security. It's a good deal and for him, and it's a secure foundation for us. How are you going to export it with the packs to the north? The orcs plaguing the lands, exactly. That is where things get a little difficult, but I have an idea. I'll stop you there, I already have one. You want the Imperial ships away? So be it. But let them have a use. You would use... Imperial ships to transport goods. Both of them, yes. Double the product, double the coin. And more so, that is the Imperium that is handing it off. Means more coin in the coffers. But how do we know that their tariffs aren't going to rip us apart? Most of the coin would flow to the Imperium, yes. But... There would still be coins in the pockets of the Radars and, by proxy, you. I mean, Gradia doesn't have many iron mines. We have one of the well, few we could charge exorbitant prices in the capital. I can help the Radars to make up for the difference. the Imperial tariffs. There's a lot of coin to be made. A lot, and very quickly. I think there's a lot of gold to be made. It all depends now on mm. what Marco Morgul says. He doesn't own the mines, though. Do we really have time to wait for a merchant shop. to decide? Well, here's the problem. He made a deal with Mirandel before he left. They have all the expert elven miners answering to Markle. We need them. The deal was that Mirando would take the mines back originally. That was what he presented to the Radards. It was going to take mercenaries. He didn't do that. We did. We need those miners. But they... I, no, but they answer to Markle because of Mirandel's plan, he said in motion. We have no say over those men. And we don't have miners here. We strike a deal with Markle. Get a cut, but not a fair portion of it. That's the way I could see this playing out, but I'm not the one brokering the deal. He's a greedy fuck. Oof. Greedy or not, that ore goes on my ships. He can be as greedy as he wants. He won't be able to export it without my aid. He won't be able to mine it until we give him permission. We'll work this out, but we need to go into this cordially and not heavy-handed.
We'll find a way to get the iron on those ships, as long as you can find a way to get it sold at Corrugators. <clears throat> I'm sure the rest Triple of market. the country is starved for iron. And with the recent approval of the Imperial Popularis here, I'm sure they will be waiting to buy from us. Very well. That'll be our plan going forward. What of the barony? We'll still do our job and assist the barony. What I I'm intend about to do. Cut. We'll make it as minuscule as possible. Very well. Them allowing us to do this is long term investiture. My intention is to get another village or town going in the outskirts of the Sabine. Give some of the poor folk here who can't find any work because it's overcrowded, and some of the refugees from Corcadis somewhere to go. There's even farmers here who want more land, but it's being denied because of the amount of work that would go into terraforming the hills. If that could be done and a new fief made, taxed, you see where I'm going with it. Very. We could also use it as a storage point for, well... It's always possible that we try to clear out some of the land around the mine and build that town there. It's by the river. It would have all the manpower and water it needs. We'll see. Protection. Mm -hmm. so the scout things out. Yeah. Exactly. Just so you're aware, the rangers have pulled out of the province. What? Why? About 30 of them were <laughs> slaughtered by Strider. I just got informed. Son of a bitch. I told Tang to handle it, get that rid of him while I will. Thing. He's out of time. I don't know how to handle a war forged. Suicidal <sighs> ways, but not fun. One thing at a time. Tomorrow, I should be back. It's a day and a half travel there and back. As soon as we can, we sit down and meet with Markle and we hash out the deal. We own the mines, he owns the exports. And you will be the way the exports move. Mm. We all get a healthy cut. Win-win for most. We we'll use that stocked up gold to build this village, expedite it. Good salaries for the builders and construction. Invite some of the refugees from Carano this way, perhaps. Those displaced. Maybe grow a population of 30, 40 if we're lucky. We'll need a garrison. Keep it safe. We'll need a garrison, but I don't want to be redod, men. To be like imperials, to the dullness, now that the war's mm. over. We would, yes. Then we have that Merc company. If we can dock it somewhere safe. I've been draining my silver, so I certainly hope we can get them useful. But that's only 12 men. <clears throat> we need triple that. Word has it that there's plenty of smugglers and pirates in the bay looking for a good coin. They're eyeing up my ships. Can't trust them to watch a town. What about those refugees? Yeah, we need mercenaries. The they were being trained the entire time they were there, weren't they? I haven't heard word from them, though. That would be a good start. Might not even be alive. I think they're busy. I'm not sure. It'd be worth looking into. I'll take a group tomorrow or something. God, of all the 
piece or the town to be empty. It had to be the day we find out I'm a master chef. That'd be a good idea. Right. We have our mission, and we know what comes next. One foot in front of the other. That's what we have to do for now. We'll reply to some of For now, though, we won. Tomorrow we say goodbye. Yep. <clears throat> Major, I forgot something. Mm. Recently had a woodcutter arrive into town. I want to get him to his camp, and I want to be able to make sure that his carts coming from the woodcutter's camp aren't going to be jumped by fucking orcs. We don't have red odd manpower, and we can't afford mercenaries. What I have now is very difficult to spare. Every soldier we lose is another man that we could be using against the orcs when they decide to. An argument could be made that if we don't have a decent wall set up or defenses using the wood, then it won't matter what we have left in terms of manpower. We need the wood into the town. And my options are, ask for Imperial aid, or send the woodcutters and just cross my fucking fingers. So. The only soldiers I would be able to spare are halberdiers and some black powder rifles. It doesn't need to be- Though the latter being limited. It doesn't need to be a consistent patrol, it just needs to be when they move. They need to go there in the morning and come back in the afternoon. So. Even if you sit on the fucking wagon with them. I don't know. I'm willing to the idea, but I doubt the Inquisition would be quite pleased with me wasting men power on a woodcutter camp. Huh? Uh, just a quick question. Um, is the Inquisition ever fucking pleased? Ever? <clears throat> You'd be surprised. Oh. Very well. I will spare a light detachment of halberdiers and one to two rifles. <clears throat> but in return, I will need some form of compensation. You think heavy, but... You would have Imperial patrols on the road, that's something you've always wanted. I'll think of something, but for now you have my word. Alright, I'll start it up tomorrow. Love the men. He's hoping to, uh, subservient. Look after your father. He, um, Threw a very few choice words at the barons and the baroness today, I'm sure you heard. I heard. I didn't hear exactly what he said, but I doubt any of it was good. Hmm. Called them... What was the terminology he used? <clears throat> Something along the lines of... Lazy, petty, not being able to do what others can. Waiting on foreign aid. They didn't like it. Well, doesn't matter. 
Yeah. They can hate the Odhots. They can hate the Imperium as much as they want. What they will never get away from is the debt they have accrued. Yeah, but you know how tricky and fucky they are. It doesn't matter. Even in their high castle, they are nothing more than servants. I wouldn't underestimate them, remember. What you know about fucking Kovaz and No. Oh, I'm aware. Mm -hmm. But that does not stop me from putting all my cards on the table. <clears throat> the debt collection starts now. Whether they like it or not, and I will use that to both my aid and your house's aid, how I see fit. Good. Things were a lot simpler back then. You know. No, they weren't. <laughs> Trust me, you just had your eyes closed to half the dealings behind the castle. Kinda hope that shonky dealings weren't occurring to begin with. Didn't think to look for them. Everlandy nobles are far more dangerous than these barons. They're all warmongers. <clears throat> well, you turned out okay. Especially their... Their butcher, yes. Why'd you do it? I had a soldier come into my office. Came from the keep. This was after Commander Osgood was struck up in politics during the Imperial invasion. Barleywell was under siege, yada yada. He had stated he was a messenger from the lords up top. He stated that, Captain, if you cause enough chaos down here in the streets, they will have to release Commander Osgood from the perpetual cycle of politics and let him go back to running not only the castle but the army. Me and Horst were good at running the castle, not managing a military. So I blindly followed that man's wishes and I killed all those people. But it wasn't Osgood who came down, it was Godfrey. And then I started thinking these past few weeks. Who really sent that message with that soldier? Which noble? Which nobles were in Hadwick? I was only aware of Dorst, Godfrey, a handful of other Aralandi lords, the advisor, and the king. Bit of a rose gallery, but I but see what you're Godfrey? getting at. Hmm. Hmm. He's now king, isn't he? Yes, had a pleasant talk with the Aralandi delegation yesterday. <laughs> I bet that went well. Hmm. He wanted to rip my throat out. Went to go talk to Victor. Yeah, I bet that went well too. Hmm. It's always scratched the back of my mind exactly who sent that man. I have my theories. I have my guesses, but... Does it really matter anymore? No, because I did it. Doesn't matter who sent the message. Seems that'll follow me until the day I die, and perhaps even after that. I guess he is what you make, I suppose. Mm. 
I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> you as well. You will follow my regards. I will. a good talk. Kyler's always wanted to like Dario, <clears throat> even back then, but he just kept doing shit. Evening. Hi. Just, um, cleaning my armor. I hope it's okay. Oh, hey. Hello, how are you? Sorry. We have fish. At Triton, we're selling them. Oh, nice. Please tell me you've eaten today, yes? I have not actually eaten today. Oh, well, the chef oh, will be good. When I cook it. I cook it, I'll make sure you catch some too. I look forward to it. Have you with you, Lord Erhard? Heard... Sorry? Oh, the Lord. Do you want fish? No, thank you. I'm not really hungry. Do you need anything? Get the drink. Um, I'm just trying to clean my armor, that's all. No one was in here, so I just started grabbing things. I hope that's okay. Fine, if you want, I can help. If you don't mind. You heard any other news? They pull out a couple rags. The people are stuck around town, and I don't know exactly what's going on. Thank you. How bloody is the armor, by it's the way? It's fucked. It is, like, more red than anything. <clears throat> I took five mages. I no <laughs> it is busted. Alright, we'll use all the water here. 
Thanks. I might, um... Uh, how bad was it? Waiting. It was bad. Did everyone come back okay at least? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Who'd you lose? Marcus. I know a few of you were close to him. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will, uh... I'll let the others know. Thanks. I'm gonna, um, get this blood out of my hair. Tell one of the others to grab you some soap. Some oh, yeah, sure. I'll grab something back. Good to see you again, my lord. Pleasure. Are you in need of anything? Just some uh, scentless soap, please. Oh, perfect. No problem. Thank you. Let us know if we can give you anything I else. I think I'll go out on the town. Hmm. Do you wish to be left alone or did you want some company? I think I'd prefer to be alone. Just for tonight. Do you wish. Thank you. Armor wrapped up, Jari. If you want to pat it down, I'd appreciate it. I'm probably oh. gonna do really quick. Okay.
Do you need anything? I'm fine, thank you. I've already been looked after. Okay, well, I mean, if you need anything, let me know. Thank you. Hey, Briar, can you get some more towels, please? Yes. <clears throat> Dude, it's like every time I walk into fucking JB Hi-Fi. It's like a tech store in Australia, and every time I walk in, I have like 40 people come up to me. Need anything? Need a hammer and anything? You looking for anything? Thanks. Marcus. Marcus. When you drink it, it's an apple teeny. I am sorry. Really. I'm sorry for you as well. I'm sure you knew him a lot longer than we did. He was a good man through and through. You don't get that very often anymore. I'm here if you want to talk, but I heard you say you wanted to be left alone. Thanks. I'll be trying off the rest of your armor. Just let me know if you need me. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, Eve, I finished drying it off. I just went ahead and shut the door. Nobody Friendly. else put their things in there. So it's all good. Friendly. Um, where do you want me to put the towels? If you could just put them in that room. Mm. What were you saying, Ingrid? Apparently, uh, apparently that thing Aka caught a squid and then Drudge cooked it rather well. Yes, I had some. It was quite delicious. Just... I was not expecting such a right. hmm. I guess, I mean, anything could help morale at this point. Suppose. So much agitation and anxiety. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you okay? You got hit too. Still fine. I'm just glad you two are alright. Thanks to you and the diet. Just, still don't know who those people are. Well, I'm not sure who I will find out. Oh. We're talking about it with one of the guards at Avern. It's like they lost a lot of people. Noble was. But it seems very peculiar. There was a plan. They said something about they discovered there was grappling hooks there for days. It was something they think is very targeted. And Dredge said he was supposed to be the one that was in the ring, not the albino. Apparently now they're missing. The albino is not Reg. Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen the albino. Thought it was dead. Yeah, Dredge said he's supposed to have fucking died. But I, I don't oh. know. What do you want? Angus. <clears throat> Need me? No. No, I'll come join you. I'm tired. Yeah. Sit to the Lord. Do you need your armor cleaned as well, my lord? That would be helpful, Miss. Um... Ari. Pleasure to meet Ari. you. May I ask you a favor? Mm, of course. The straps on the sides and back. Hard to read. 
Oh, of course. Let me know if I change. I've seen you around here before. Are you new? Ah, uh, yes, relatively. Uh, do you need any help, uh, Miss Ari? I think I'm fine right now. As soon as he uh, leaves his armor, I'll start cleaning it, and then I might need help if you'd like. Alright. Hello, Mr. Angus. Sounds like it's, it's been a hard day for off. everyone. You Hello, Matthias. Yes, it's hey. difficult. Hello, Mr. Matthias. <sighs> Not easy by any means, but it's part of life, isn't it? <laughs> the good moments are made sweeter by knowing the bad ones. <clears throat> you are you. Ma'am. Do you mind getting so? two more, please? Do you need any refreshments? I always have something else there. Thank you. What was it you had? It's an apple teeny. Oh, okay. Right on. <coughs> Put your armor there and I'll have one of the other girls go fetch one for you. Thank you. Pardon me, I'm a boy. You didn't see me until you get close, did you? I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Thank you, Miss Ori. <laughs> Don't hesitate to let us know if you need anything else. I left the silver on the dresser for your help with the armor. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. I think today was the hardest I've had to fight in a long time. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Oh, great. I think that could be said for both of us. <laughs> I got my fucking shit pushed in. I'll have whatever's available. <clears throat> Yeah, they make a very hard choice. Oh? And that was tell myself you knew what you were doing so I could keep directing, man. I knew what I was doing. Just getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> I would get kicked onto the floor, and then someone would come along and try and pull me out of the way, and they'd throw me away before I could stand up. And then as I'm standing up, another orc would come and punch me. And then someone would grab me and throw me out of the way, of harm's way. <laughs> I was getting ragdolled all over the fucking place. Same. Yeah.
Marcus, Tiberius, and I have a, um, had a bit of a tradition after a long day. Try that. How much? Um, it's just some... Uh, it's it's a drink it's Marcus toy. invented. It's called an I... apple tea. Eve? Help? <clears throat> it kind of caught on. It's not my the, usual uh, drink either. Price for, uh... The beverages. Forget it. It's not bad. <laughs> Was that green apple? Yes. Somewhat sour and sweet. Yes, it's way too sweet for me, but it kind of caught on. Just take it. So. Anyone that knew Marcus, give him a free drink. Oh. The mm. apple teeny was partly his idea after all. Tell the it spread fast. <clears throat> Why do you say it like that? Did something happen to Mr. Marcus? He's gone. He was quite liked by the girls like here. Like on a trip? No. Does it come to so there's no confusion, a question about rumors, so no one knows what was going on. So Marcus Brooker was killed today by orcs. Now you know. I died peacefully surrounded by friends at the end of the fight. There'll be a funeral tomorrow. It, it is open to everyone, correct? Everyone. Yes. That's what he would want. Keep the copper regardless. I'll be back. It was so funny. Mm -hmm. One time he said to me, there's no way in hell he'll go back home and they'll follow a fucking drow. And all I saw him do was cover you with his body. Was fight at your side. Was defend you from others. When you were held up in the embassy, <clears throat> we were riding back from being in the forest. Got ambushed by crossbowmen. Didn't even see it coming. Marcus just on instinct put himself between me and the shooters. Nearly died that day too. I hear the twangs, I'm expecting to feel something and I look to my right and it's embedded in his chest. He was a good man, who changed a lot. Yeah. And changed the people he came across in good ways.
Don't really have much left, do we? Hmm. People. We don't have many left. Been living that way for about three decades, Kyla. This is the most people I've ever had. I got Dario to agree to help protect the woodcutters as they're coming to and from the camp. So we should have wood coming into the Thank city. God. Mm. He said he couldn't spare much. He but it these nothing. <clears throat> yeah. Something is better than nothing. It's good that you did so. I'll let the woodcutters know tomorrow. Just tired, <laughs> that's all. Yeah. You know, I nearly, nearly forgot about the assassinations this morning. Because we got so caught up in everything else. What a fucked day. I hope the flow of wood will be enough to make a difference. The frames of the walls will get done and we can get the town surrounded in stone. The sooner we do that, the sooner people are safe by, from these orcs. Agreed. But we're going to have to do more things like we did today and take charge. They're too afraid to act. Full of them, I guess. What else is new? on a desk
I've been completely cut out of whatever's happening with That is completely up to the Baroness. <clears throat> From my understanding. It's certainly not us. Yeah. I have a feeling that's going to happen a lot more frequently now. Dario mentioned some of the things you said in the What did he say? He said some of the things you called them. I don't disagree. What was I supposed to do? Oh, I know. I don't blame you. Anyone in the changing room? I couldn't take it at that point. I don't believe so. But they were just arguing and squabbling. Yeah. Over who it was that would claim it and gain from it, and I'm just. I think it's that one as well. That one is okay. On the dresser. What do I know? At least they know what I think <laughs> now. <clears throat> if uh, more change in that room, we'll leave that door shut. Something to be said about having cards on the table. Miss Ari, could I bother you for a refill? Of course. Refill. Please. <clears throat> if you would be so kind, my dear. For what time it's worth, I'm... A couple of times, but whenever you guys came in here, it was... So it's a good time. Yeah. Be right. Wonder how our friends are doing at the monastery. I hope they're doing okay. I had no idea they were doing anything until the day they were leaving. <clears throat> You and me both. The shit that I heard didn't help you. Though. Excuse me. Yes. May I have some water, please? Of course. Thank you. Thank you. growing on me. <laughs> Appletini. It's easy to drink. Yeah. Let's see why it catches on. Thank you. Here. The drunker you get, the better it Thank gets. You. It's the 50 copper you gave back to me. That happens no matter what you drink, my boy. Yes. I'll be open front in that box by the door. I know. I 
went to the Merchant's Guild and I bought every rose that they had for the funeral tomorrow. I will come by, if possible, in the middle of the night and pick up those roses so I can adorn his pyre. I'll be building it tonight with I got people, one of so. the boxes right now and they said they're bringing another one later. Excellent. I'll be sure to gather them. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and roll chat. He hasn't eaten today and this is his third Afortini. <clears throat> Very well liked. Good reason. Why are you doing okay? I'm in the fray and I leave myself empty. Imagine him not walking back in here. Here, why don't you walk away for a minute? You see me take down that troll? <laughs> I did, I saw you climb right up its back. Twice. And hack into its neck. It is thick. Did you see you held it in place for you? I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. I was so afraid. I knew you had me. I was afraid it would turn its attention to you. We have no idea. I thought that was it. I was right where he wanted me. And I should have been afraid I could feel my hand shaking holding the blade even though it was in his gut. But oh, I just could not move. All I could think was, don't look at him, don't you dare look at my son. That's all I needed. Alright, you get partial credit. <sighs> <clears throat> You're very generous, my boy. Thank you. I'm a man of the people. Is that what you are now? I mean, you'll come here and start spending all of my silver from the forge here? It's my forge. You gave it to me, remember? We gave you the position to run it, <clears throat> yes. Well, once we have iron, and then I'll have enough money to come here and spend all the money. <clears throat> well, get that armor smith too. Sent a missive a couple of days ago. We've got a lot of people coming to town on wagons. There was a dwarf today. Strange one, half naked. Aren't most dwarves strange? Everyone was like, Hi, can you fix my armor? Can you make me a shield? And I'm like, One, we don't have any iron. And two, I don't know how to.
I think I'm gonna turn in. My hands are getting pruny. It seems fine to me. Pruny. Pruny. Like an old drown. I am A to you now. How do you should do? Mm -hmm. Let's try to draw it. Growing a bit of a goatee. I'm oh, good on you. I thought about it, but like then people would know, you know. So, who gives a shit? It's harder to lie to people. It can be hard to deal with people regardless. They either think you're fully something they can't trust, or half of something they can't trust. I consider it. Who cares what I have? I got some of that. Be a good look. Dwarven beard oil. If it makes you feel any better, I think you would look good with a goatee. You know how long it takes me to grow like the littlest bit of stubble? It could take decades to build something, grow something as majestic as yours. Like a. <laughs> but I will try. I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna go. Get some rest. There's no time for rest. I need justice. Where's the fucking door hand? Oh. Do you have too many apple teenies, bro? I've had three, and I haven't eaten today. Oh, those can sneak up on you. Sneaky. From behind. Thank you for the drinks. You're welcome. Of course. I remember when he came in here asking for an apple teeny with a glowing apple, was it these? Yeah. That they were common? <laughs> And I just remember the first day that that was made. They couldn't decide what they wanted <clears throat> to drink. Ow. So I you know, poured everything and put a teeny bit of apple in it. Are you, going to, are you going to need an escort home, Lord? No, I'll be okay. Thank you, Angus. Boss, have a good night. The other side, my lord. Uh huh. Yep. Tricky. <sighs> Did I pick? 
pin that by accident? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 